Hi everyone, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. Um, I'm filming this on Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day for all the mothers out there. Um, I am doing a video of how I style my hair. This video has been requested multiple, 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 multiple times over the past like two years, and I haven't really made a like hair styling video in a very long time since like I was a sophomore. I'm now a senior. So I'm going to do another one and I'm going to show you. I'm going to talk through the process instead of just kind of showing you like the first video I think. So I have this thingy that like every Asian household has I believe. At least I was told by one of my friends. Uh, this is a turban towel. This is kind of one of those things. Um, it has a lot of hair dye stains on it so that's why it looks really weird. But I put my hair up in this to like dampen it. Um, right after the shower so I always start off styling my hair with it wet that doesn't mean I wash my hair every day it means I actually like condition it like every day but I don't condition it every single day sometimes sometimes I won't condition it if I it, I just like don't really need to but if I want to style it really well I'll like wet it okay so step number one I start off with wet hair it's kind of damp though one thing you'll learn about me is leave-in products are my life so like I can't live with my hair unless I have leave-in products. The leave-in products that I use right now, um, mostly like my lifesaver has been um, Extreme Anti-Snap by Redken, but I mixed together because this was running out and I have a new one, but I put some of the other things in here so I put everything that I have in my hair into one bottle of squirt um, because I kind of make like a hair cocktail where I just kind of mix everything together and then put it on my hair. But um, this is a uh, Cebu Frizzix Straightening Balm plus keratin. I use this uh, as a heat protectant um, balm. You um, squirt it on your hand by like one squirt. And since my hair is like, I don't have that much hair, so um, I put it right here because I usually straighten this, but I'm not going to be straightening it today. I'm going to be doing a little curly thing. Um, I've always used this bedhead after party. It's actually, I mean, it's really just to smooth out your hair. It doesn't do anything like benefit you like like it doesn't repair your hair or anything because these other products do uh this is just like something that was like always a miracle product for me like it just made my hair feel great throughout the day um i don't use this much anymore um but i probably should today um sugar shine system uh this is uh matrix biolage um let's see uh, oh um this one is really good cebu sashini the thermal spray so I use this whenever I put heat products on my hair, straightening, uh, blow dry, flat iron, um, like, you know, curling, any of it. Uh, let's see, Super Skinny Serum by um, Paul Mitchell, that's what I use um, for, I don't know, just for everything. Okay, so that's pretty much it. There's, um, I have a texturizing spray, but I just bought a new one. Um, by this brand new company that just started selling at the salon that I work at. So a AG Hair Care C Spray Beachy Waves Finish. This is a texturizing spray. I'm probably going to be using that in my hair today because I'm going to be doing wavy things because I'm going to be modeling for Lefties 29 again. Um, okay, so now that I have like the products I use out of the way, let's go over to the uh, blow drying station. <laughs> I put on the Extreme Anti Snap. This has a lot of the other products, like I said, in it. Um, I kind of just do that, so it kind of gets in all of my hair. Oh, and I also got this new repair serum, Keratin Anti-Breakage uh, by AG Hair Care, the new company. Oh my god, this makes a squeaking sound like, it sounds like an alarm when I try to squeeze it out. Oh my god, that was so crazy. Wow, these products smell good. Whoa. That's really amazing. Heat protecting spray. There we go. That was a lot. <laughs> Okay, so from here, you can literally just watch me blow dry my hair. What I do is I blow dry it upside down so that the heat styles my hair like this. So that when I flip it up, it's really voluminous and all of the hair dries like outwards. So it, it, it just looks much fuller and bigger. Also, I'm going to turn on my straightener, putting it on the lowest volume, which is 
310 degrees and I'm going to leave that to preheat while I dry my hair. Okay, so now my hair is blow dried as you can see. This is honestly usually where I stop, like on a regular school day. Um, sometimes what I'll do is with the, um, with the temperature on its lowest setting, I kind of just go through my um, bangs right here because my bangs wave in a weird way. And if I straighten that, it just looks great. Like that's, that's really, it's really the way I wear my hair and like it'll just kind of lay like that. Um, the things I usually use is either a alligator clip or just a hair tie and a brush. I use this brush from Wet and it's good for wet hair. Um, this is for the, the wavy look now. Um, this is normally literally where I would stop. I don't tease my hair. I don't do anything else to it. I don't even straighten all of it. Sometimes I'll straighten all of it if it just looks crazy, but this is usually where I stop and it looks fine. Um, this is what I do every day. And then... This is what I'm, I do sometimes for special occasions recently, is um, I section it by putting it up. I always, as you can see, like in most of my hair dyeing videos, I always start with like this section at the nape of my neck. It's just easier to work your way up. You want to take a piece maybe about this big. Um, sometimes like I take smaller pieces, but for the most part this is good. So I wrap it around like that and let go and then boom see it's like a really loose wave make sure your hair is not all tangled because if you straighten your hair or curl it while it's tangled it flat irons those tangles into your hair and then it's just like it's not a good situation just don't do it I like this trend that's happening right now where it's like straight on the ends but it's like curly right here and it just kinda um I'll show you what I mean but if you look at a lot of high-end uh, salon videos where they style their hair and like dye it and color it they usually style it at the end like this um, and I just recently figured out how to do it the way I like to do it I sectioned it down the middle of the back like that so now I have this entire straight section cut that kind of in half so that I have this section right here and I basically do the same thing up my head the entire way Oh, and sometimes I like to rotate it the opposite way. So I went this way on that one. So I want to go the other way on this one. the screen looks this foggy like it's not foggy at all in here like the the screen is absolutely not I'm so confused why is it murky I'm gonna change the contrast so you can see this better but um you know if you run your hands through it they kind of separate a little bit and if you kind of see some strands that are not as curled as others just like you know do it again sometimes you can do them on top of each other that are different directions so it doesn't look all you know together and sometimes that looks better but um other people like their curls to be all in the same direction and that's okay too also if your hair is thicker than mine or longer than mine um it might be okay or like if it's curlier than mine it might be okay to like use um a higher uh <coughs> temperature my hair doesn't take that much heat to really style itself so I use the lowest possible heat because I don't want to damage my hair um, 
but if you guys like this look go ahead and like this video um comment down below if you have any questions or comments and uh like subscribe to me if you want to <laughs> i don't know um yeah <laughs> i haven't made a hair video like this in a while so um i don't know what the back looks like also um last few finishing touches i'm gonna spr okay <laughs> i'm gonna spray some of this beach wave finish on my hair because it smells really good and it gives it that extra oomph um also ooh, there's this one texturizing spray i use thickening hair system uh this is matrix biolage advanced Densifying spray treatment. I just spray it's like a jet spray, so it's like you don't want to just spray it straight on your hair. I put it in my hands, it smells like peppermint. I put it through my roots right here because as you can tell, this area is the part that falls down on my face the most. So I want to thicken that area so um it just kind of stays put because it's so thin and wispy up here. I do have a lot of baby hairs as you can see, so that might be why. And then if you want to do anything else to your hair, um, a little tip uh, for like people who don't have hair as trained over as mine, but they want to style their hair that way. If you tease just the section that you're trying to part over and it doesn't want to stay, it'll stay much better if you like back comb it at the roots just a little bit. Um, it not only just volumizes it, but it keeps it where you're supposed to keep it or where you want to keep it. Um, if you want to top that off with some finishing spray, that's fine. I don't really use finishing spray because I feel like, I just don't like to my hair, uh, I don't like to use hairspray much anymore because I don't want it to be so, like, stiff. But yeah, um, I do have some good finishing sprays. This finishing spray is, uh, Finis, Finis, Finista, I don't know, um, by Cebu. You just, it just kind of tops it all off for you and then boom I'm ready to go <coughs> thank you guys so much for watching bye I love y'all